by the end of this video, we'll have a platform for our little guy to stand on, left and right movement, and the ability to jump. Starting from the beginning, I'm going to create a new 2D project and call it 2D Platformer. So first we'll add our player. Right click and go 2D Object, Sprite, Square, and name it Player. Now add a Box Collider 2D so our player can collide with things, and a Rigid Body 2D so our player has mass. In our Rigid Body, go down and tick the Freeze Z position, otherwise our player will spin. Because our player has gravity, it'll fall down when pressing play. Ew. So, as the name suggests, with a platformer, we'll need a platform. Add another square, name it platform, and make it big enough so our player has some room to move. Our platform will also need a box collider 2D so that our player can collide and stand on it. And as easy as that, when we press play, our player is safe. Before we add some movement, I'm going to add some eyes to our sprite so we can see the direction it's facing. So I'm just dragging in a picture from my images uh, and then you drag that sprite onto your sprite renderer and there he is. Now we can add our player's movement. We'll add a new script to the player and call it player movement and open it up. First we'll start off putting in our variables. Uh, the two at the top are going to be floats. So the first one will be horizontal input and the second one will be move speed. Um, we'll set that to a default of five. Uh, and we also need our rigid body 2D, which is the one we added to our player object. In our start function, we'll initialize our rigid body. Uh, so we'll set that to get component rigid body 2D. And then in our update function, we'll set our horizontal input to be input get axis uh, and then pass in the name horizontal. So we'll be able to use AD or the left and right keys to move. Then we'll add the fixed update method and set our rigid body's velocity to a new vector 2 and we'll pass in horizontal input times movement speed, uh, move speed, and our rigid body's, rigid body's y velocity, which will make our character move. When we go back into Unity and press play, he moving, but he ain't changing direction. So back in the script, We'll add a new boolean called is facing right and by default set this to false since our sprite starts off facing left. Then we'll make a new method for flipping the sprite. So inside here we're going to check if uh, our sprite is facing right and our horizontal input is less than zero, um, we will flip it uh, so it's facing left. Or if it's not facing right and our horizontal input is greater than zero, then we'll flip it again uh, so that it is facing right. <laughs> so basically we'll set our is facing right to be whatever it's not currently. Um, we need to store our local scale. So we'll get that from our transform local scale. Uh, we take our local scale x and set that to be times equals. So what it currently is, but just basically make it negative um, and then transform local scale equals our local scale that we've just set up. Now all we have to do is call our new function in our update method. Now we change in direction. Let's make him jump. Back in the script we'll add two new variables. The first one will be a float, uh, we'll call it jump power, and we'll set that to a default of four. And the next one will be a boolean, uh, we'll call is jumping, and we'll set to a default of false. Next, we'll go down to our update function and add a new if statement. So if our input get button down uh, is jump, and if we're jumpy, and if we're not jumping, so if not is jumping, um, we'll set our rigid body velocity to be a new vector two, um, and we'll pass in our rigid body velocity x and our jump power. Then we'll set our is jumping to be true. So now we can press space to jump. Last of all, to make sure we can only jump when we're on the ground, we'll add a on collision, collision enter 2D and set is jumping to be false. And hippity hoppity, there you go. Uh, now you can add some more platforms to jump around on or some walls, which will probably keep our player safe from any falling accidents.